Hey, what's going on? Build this Krosama here. And today, oh, my lads. Oh, I've been busting nuts all day for this. We have some new banner news. That's, mm, that's all I wanted. All I wanted to know was what was going to be in the new banners, who was going to be in the new banner AIs, and boy, oh boy. I mean, you're probably going to see in that thumbnail, but uh, it's going to be pretty amazing. Before we get into that, though, I do want to show you a build I'm working on for the arenas. Um, and I do want to take a little note that I should have really done the arenas um, you know, during the actual video. So I might try to do that, but I usually have a lot of like you know anticipation. So I really want to get into the arenas uh, as soon as they launch in the mornings. Uh, but I might try to like hold off, but hey, don't, don't keep me to that promise. Um, but so in this morning's arena, I actually got a uh, multiplier of like 1.336. Uh, so I, I got really high with uh, my multiplier, got a really good score. These scores in the beginning doesn't really mean much. Because um, you're really only getting maybe uh, quite a few different points, like maybe like 5, 10 you know, point difference. Uh, I mean, you, you, you might be able to get 20 point difference, but for the most part, I don't know. I think the multiplier right in the beginning of the arenas does not matter as much as the point uh, multiplier near like the last two days of the uh, the arenas. So like that Friday and Saturday, you, like that's when you, well not Friday and Saturday, but the uh, Saturday and Sunday, that's when you really need to get your highest multipliers. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult because you're going against harder enemies uh, that has like higher defenses, but you know there, there's ways to work around it. Now I'm gonna show you a build I'm working on for this week because uh, last week it was almost almost a full uh, Barbados build except for the sumo head because I think the sumo head is really good. Um, so this is my new build. I'm whenever the new banner drops uh, in a couple of days, um, I'm actually probably gonna gold the uh, the Gundam Exia backpack. Um, that's what I've been eyeing right now. So um, yeah, so uh, the Gundam Exia backpack. So I, I I'm keeping sumo the same. But Gunnam Exia, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, so this has an EX skill called the Transam Raid. Uh, I try using it in the past, it's actually pretty good. Uh, the word tags, I absolutely have no benefit from. But I'm going to show you what the EX skill is. So it's a beam melee, keep note of that. Sorry, the screen froze. So it's a beam melee attack. Um, this is going to be like extremely important for what I'm about to show you next. Uh, piercing is going to be D, power is going to be A, which is really good. Uh, the cooldown is going to be 30 seconds. I really wish I had more uh, Trans Am backpacks uh, so that way I can just level this up and kind of get that initial cooldown uh, reduced. But hey, it kind of is what it is. Um, so release particles in your G and Drive for high speed attack. Raise melee attack of your squad by 30%. This is uh, what I call a finisher EX skill. Um, the raise melee attack of your squad by 30%. I'm not worried about that. We're not. We might not even get to that point. Um, some people are telling me that that raise melee attack your squad by 30%. It's actually incorporated into the attack itself. Um, so like when you're doing the Trans Am raid, you're getting that bonus. Uh, some people have been telling me that. Some people are saying it doesn't. I really. I don't think I have a way of testing this out. So I'm not really too sure. Uh, but this is going to be my new finisher instead of the Iron Impact. Now I'm gonna show you something else. Now, remember when I told you about the Hyakushiki beam rifle and how it was like it was really, really good um, and probably the best part of the Hyakushiki? Well, it's actually fantastic. So I'm going to go to max value because I do plan to max this out uh, eventually. So uh, I'm not really worried about the shot attack, even though the shot attack isn't really too bad. Um, you know, obviously, it's not going to have any melee attack. The, uh, the word tags, I'm not going to be able to use those, so I'm not worried about them. But the parts trait is what we're doing. When attacking with beam... EX skill power boosted 25%. So, obviously the Trans Am Raid is a beam melee attack, and you're attacking with beam in theory, so your EX skill power should be boosted by 25%. That is huge. You're getting a full fourth of your entire attack boosted. Um, that's, that's crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, that... To me, that blew my mind when I was like, kind of, you know, trying to think. I was like, what, what melee weapon? I was really thinking about melee weapons, um, but I was like, what melee weapon is actually going to have a good finisher? And I was like, really none, because a lot of them are not really good, uh, or they weren't, they weren't finishers in the first place, or um, they were physical attacks. So I, I saw the uh, the Trans Am uh, raid. I was like, all right, cool. This is definitely going to apply to that. So uh, this is one thing. 
And another thing is going to be the sumo head. Uh, so I do plan to gold this as well. So raise melee attack by 39%. Uh, without the max value, it's still 36%. So it's only a 3% difference. Um, but yeah, so your your melee, because it's a beam melee EX attack, you're, you're increasing this by 39%. And you're also increasing it by 25%. Um, that's, that's ridiculous. Now, as obviously... 39%, it, it should be raise your melee attack by 36%. So it's not the actual EX skill that's getting raised. Like, this isn't directly coming from the EX skill. Your melee attack is is, is being increased by that percentage from your actual raw stat. Um, I don't know if it's before or after the pro tag is activated. Um, I'm pretty sure it's while pro tag is activated, you, you get that extra 36%. And my... Um, you know, my melee attack is already super high, so this is going to incorporate in, uh, into that, but then the EX power, that is drawing from the actual um, attack itself, uh, not the, the melee attack. But there's also one more thing I want to show you. So with the Barbatos arms, uh, it says, in fighter job, melee power boosted 18%. So obviously we're not, a, we're not an in fighter, we're an out fighter, but this is my thing. I'm about to talk about Mika. Mika is the pilot of, well, Mikazuki, however you want to call him. Uh, Mikazuki is the pilot of the Barbados Gundam. And it is it is guaranteed, guys, that he is going to be an infighter. If they made Mika a non-infighter, that would make zero sense. Because, obviously, this is his mobile suit. And, yeah, he's going to be an infighter. Uh, more likely, he is going to have the tags that the Barbados generally carries. Uh, so I'll show you real quick. So the Barbados generally has like close combat and pro tag. That's that's my guessing right now is that Mika is going to have close combat and pro tag, which is going to just tremendously increase our uh, attack stat. And I'll show you. So close combat raises armor 5% and melee attack 5% um, while active. So pro tag is 10% of melee attack while active. It's an extra 15% just from your uh, your tags. Uh, people are like saying, oh, why are you doing this overkill? Because it's already known that the overkill damage is how you get that, that extra assessment uh, multiplier in the arena. So I know I've been dragging this on for a little bit, uh, but I really want to kind of dive a little bit more into the arena stuff. Um, and I want to show y'all definitely like maybe on Wednesday whenever the uh, banners actually drop. But yeah, that's kind of like my thought process and... Obviously, the rest of my stats aren't really that amazing, except for like my shot defense is really good. Um, my anti-beam shield isn't really all the way leveled. Uh, but yeah, once I get everything all in order, um, my parameters should be back into order. I, I Once I get rid of Psy, um, you know, I should go back to being a, uh, a power attribute. Um, so yeah, things things should get better. But yeah, that's, that's kind of like my observation for arenas. That's going to be my new introduction. Uh, it's, it's nothing really changed except for shield, backpack, and weapon, uh, you know, long rifle. Uh, there's one more thing I'm going to show you. Now, obviously, the mace does not really do anything for me. Um, it, it, it has an EX skill. It has amazing uh, attack stat. But for the most part, I can't really use that EX skill because that's not going to be my finisher. It's good to have on the side. Um, but I, I pretty much want to get rid of that and, and get a good trait. So I do have the long sword. It's already maxed at four stars. Um, but I do plan to max it at 5 stars, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to max it, well, actually I'm going to take that back. So, max it, uh, look at the parameters, the parameters is going to be pretty much the same as the maze, which is good. But I'm going to unclick that, I'm going to show you the parts trait. So, in fighter job, which I will be because of Mika, melee crit rate boosted 12%. This is at level 2. Um, that's going to be amazing. So, not only am I going to have immense uh, attack boost for my EX skill because it's a beam, not only am I going to have immense attacks that increase uh, from the word tags, not only am I going to have extra attack from the uh, Barbados arms, but I'm also going to have immense attack from the sumo buff EX skill. And then on top of all that, I'm going to have a crit rate boost of 12%. Now obviously 12% is 12%. It could, it could hit, and maybe it never does hit. But if I do hit... On that last hit for the EX raid, and I get that, I get that crit rate, guys. That's gonna be immense attack. Like that's just, it's just shooting me all the way up. So um, that's my that's my mentality right now. Uh, and this one does have the pro tag word tag, so that's kind of like the goal. 
but yeah, I, I still am going to need a lot more of uh, the awakenings, so that way I can do a lot of these um, these gold, you know, parts. But for right now, I think Gundam Exe is going to be the next one I'm going to gold, and then after that, might be. It might be that sword, because I want to replace the mace as soon as possible. Uh, or it might be Mika. Well, Mika's separate, so... I actually think I have enough... Uh, well, I'll, I'll show you later. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the banners, guys. Okay, so before we get into the banner, I'm going to show you what the new event is. The new event is Colossus Lurking in the Debris. So, obviously, this is going to be the Gusan. Um, I am really excited about this, because I do love Iron Blood Orphans. I know... There's like a whole fan base of Iron Blood Orphans, but there's also like a hate club for Iron Blood Orphans. And I don't get it. A lot of people say like Iron Blood Orphans is really garbage. It's a horrible anime, just in terms of anime standards. I thought it was really good. Uh, it was definitely a breath of fresh air from all the constant build fighter stuff that we got over the past few years. Um, and especially after G Wreck. Um, I, honestly, G Wrecko is just not. That was like. That got me completely out of the, the um, kind of mentality of, of the hobby. Like, I was really drained. I was done. I, I really did not enjoy that series. But Iron Blood Orphans, both me and my wife, who does not really enjoy Gundam at all, my wife thoroughly enjoyed Iron Blood Orphans. And she she was like, that's my she's like that's my favorite mecha anime right now. And she watched Evangelion. So this is going to be really good. And obviously, some of the banner mobile suits are going to be showcased right here at the bottom. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this one, to be to be frank. Now, obviously, you're going to have multipliers. So you're going to have the Hyakushiki. You're going to have the Gusan. Um, uh, either one of those is going to give you a two times multiplier, whether you're using weapons or the actual parts. Uh, next, you're going to have is the Wing Gundam. And we'll take a look more into uh, what the Wing Gundam is going to come with. Uh, but that's going to be a five times multiplier. Then you're going to have the Force Impulse. I don't know, a lot of people are saying that was a strike. I'm like, no, that's... That's the Force Impulse, my guys. Uh, as much as I don't care for Seed and Seed Destiny, you know, I do really love a lot of the designs. Uh, unfortunately, in this game, I'm not going after designs that I, I kind of have like a good average love for. I'm going for designs and just mobile suits in general that I have a huge, huge passion for. Um, and Barbados is one of my favorites. I did complete it, so I'm going to be sticking with Barbados probably for the remaining of this game until Lupus, you know, comes out. Um, but yeah, for the most part, um, you know, those are looking really good. And then if you go further down here, it's going to start on the 10th uh, APM PTD. Uh, plan to have five missions. He's going to be rewarded with different golden coins according to its EN cost, much like we've been having in the past. Uh, in addition, if you clear a mission with at least one part equip, uh, you know, obviously you get those multipliers. And it's going to show you all the different uh, things. It's kind of giving us a good glimpse into the banner. So you're going to have the Force Impulse Gundam, uh, the actual parts, which is all four star. You're going to have the shield. You're going to have a beam saber. And you're also going to have a high energy beam rifle. Um, then we're going to take a look at the Wing Gundam. So you're going to have the parts, the main body. You got the shield, the beam saber, and buster rifle. Now, this is a big note. The parts are different from pre-registration reward parts, but will be this, uh, displayed identically in your collection. So the pre-registration reward parts are not treated as multiplier parts. That's a key note. So make sure that whenever you're equipping these and if you're doing your multipliers, just make sure that they're not the pre-registered uh, wing parts. Uh, I'm still going to keep all my pre-registered stuff. Uh, I know some people are like, it's trash, and yeah, it, they are. Eventually, I would like to still do an analysis video on them. Uh, but you know what? It's like they're discontinued, to my knowledge, so no one else can get these parts. And I I don't know, what if they buff them in the future? Could, could be. And of course, you're going to have the Hakushiki and the Gusan. Uh, so the Gusan, you are going to have the main parts. It's a level 3, uh, well, 3 star. You're going to have the hammer, which is amazing that it's going to be its own uh weapon so that's pretty cool and you can have the submachine gun which is uh cool as well um now i'm going to do a couple of guesses so for the head part i think that's going to be either i think it's gonna be vulcans to be honest because it does have two vulcans on the top of the head uh so that's probably going to be its ex skill looking at the body um i'm not really too sure what the body can do i think it's going to be a passive trait i think it's going to be a good defender uh type i think the entire attribute is going to be power um, so it's going to be a power attribute. The body is probably going to be a defender self uh, trait. And maybe it's like increase armor by X percent if defender uh, pilot, uh, pilot type. Um, and then you're going to have the arms. The arms could be just something like a, like a, a shield bash almost, like a, like a, a charging ram EX skill. 
Um, I think the legs could be an EX skill because they do have grenades on the side of the, uh, the the side skirts. So you could use those grenades as an EX skill. Otherwise, I think it could also be a defender uh, pilot type um, trait. Now you're going to have the, uh, the backpack, which it really doesn't have a backpack. I don't know how they're doing that. It might not even come with a backpack at all. So that could be interesting or the body could be fused with backpack. So I don't know how they're doing that. Um, I'd be interesting to know. But the Goose on Hammer, that is probably going to be either an EX skill that just going to be probably a very generic. It's not going to be a finisher. It's going to be a very generic EX uh, skill. Um, but I do think it's going to be a passive trait. Uh, probably something that is going to boost attack stat or it's going to boost maybe, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think, like maybe boost uh, physical attacks from EX uh, skills or something like that. Uh, and then the submachine gun, I do think that is going to be uh, a passive trait. So that's pretty much it. That's kind of like my thoughts on this. And obviously you can exchange these coins. Uh, it's not saying, or at least I'm not seeing anything about... Uh, yeah, it's not saying anything about like a special mission. Usually they kind of like say, hey, there's going to be special missions. They more than likely will because they've been doing this the past couple of uh, of event banners. So we'll see. But yeah, that's kind of like my thoughts. I think Gusan is going to be really good. Now moving on to the actual banner. Um, obviously, I'm not really excited about this. Uh, for my speculation, for the Wing Gundam, I think it's going to be an okay build. They're both four stars. Um, but I think the Wing Gundam may be a mid-shooter. If not, it should be a long shooter. Um, I don't even know if it's going to match the uh, the Hero Yui that, that we already have. That's the pre-registered. Probably not, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be a long shooter type MS. Uh, Forest Impulse could be a um, probably a mid-fighter. Uh, I'm kind of thinking more mid-fighter. Um, but hey, I mean, we'll definitely see. I'm not really. I'm not going to speculate all the different. Um, parts and what they're probably going to do we'll just definitely see whenever the banner does drop and now the moment that at least i've been waiting for my boy mikazuki ah oh, he's he's a four star he's probably gonna be hard as shit to uh to get but you know what i'm going to i'm gonna put a lot of effort into getting him like day one i don't care how much money i spend you can call me a whale whatever you want i'm going to get mika so i'm putting a lot of money into this game for not only Mika, but also for at least the five uh, times multiplier. Um, that's kind of like just my only end game right now is to get a wing part, at minimum a wing part, and uh, Mika. Now, uh, Sima G uh, Garar I, I can't pronounce that. Um, I think she's the one that pilots the uh, Gabera, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, she's the one that pilots the Gabera over in um, Stardust Memories. So, not really too interested in her. I don't. I don't know. I'm not really interested. I'm, I'm probably going to pick her. Uh, I'm probably going to get her whenever I'm doing all my pulls from Mika. Uh, so we'll definitely do like a little, you know, analysis on her and all that. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So nothing's really like nothing's really standing out outside of Mika. I think Gusan's going to be a decent three star. I, and more than likely, the most notable part on the on him is going to be that hammer. For whatever reason, I just feel that that, that hammer is going to be the best part. On the goose on um, so we'll, we'll I mean we'll see guys uh, otherwise Mika is going to be the highlight of this entire event for this entire week I only care about Mika so I'm gonna get him I'm gonna put him on Barbados and uh, yeah I'm gonna have a great time so I'm definitely gonna be getting way more damage output and my arena multiplier should drastically increase and that means we're getting more awakening circuits which means more five star parts and i am super excited about that so hey this video has ran on way too long already so definitely let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the banner and event um also let me know what you're thinking about the arenas i know the arenas just restarted today um how'd you do last time let me know in the comment section below um and definitely give this video a thumbs up i, I really do appreciate the likes because it kind of puts this video a little bit higher in the algorithm at least in my opinion uh so that way people can see these videos and they can get a little more insight on these banners as well as these events before they start like planning and starting to do things um, but also if you can subscribe if you haven't already and just stay tuned for more future content whether it's going to be plomo reviews going to be unboxings it's going to be this game it's going to be another game just going to be anything 
Uh, but you are going to get some more content, as always, in the near future. But that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.